Hello and welcome to Lifeform TV. You'll remember from previous demonstrations I showed you how to load the data file into your Lifeform software. I then showed you how to calculate the trend figures deciding whether to calculate a home advantage trend or an away advantage trend and also how much data to import into your trend figures. I then showed you how to use the charting software to calculate the odds of an impending match. We can now use the odds tab to calculate these odds far more accurately. The first thing to do when calculating the odds for an impending match is to select the home team and the away team of that match. I'm going to be selecting the Stoke versus Tottenham English Premier match. So I select Stoke for the home team, Tottenham for the away team, and you will see that we now have the home team's rating value or mu value displayed and the away team's rating value or mu value displayed. We now select calculate odds. The rating or mu gap is now displayed and we are told we have a home team advantage. This means that the home team has a higher rating than the away team. This is important because the trend that we calculate so that we can calculate those odds has to be of the same type. In this case we have a home trend calculated and we have a home trend match coming up. Now the software has calculated the odds for the impending match, we can see how these odds apply to the home and the away team and then see if we have an edge on the market or not. In this case the advantage is a home team advantage. This means that these odds apply to the home team. If this advantage was an away team advantage, these odds would apply to the away team. So in this case, home team advantage, Stoke City has decimal odds of 2.93 to win, 3.01 to lose, 3.06 to draw. We can also think about this in respect to Tottenham, that Tottenham has loss odds of 2.93, win odds of 3.01 and draw odds of 3.06. You'll notice that after the calculate odds button is clicked, advice will appear in the advice box. In this case we are being told the mu gap is within limits and these odds are valid. By this it means that this mu gap is low enough for, for us to carry out a statistical calculation. If the gap is so large that statistically we cannot carry out this calculation, the advice in this box will warn us that the odds are not valid and that these odds are to be ignored. In this case the odds are valid and this is because our rating difference is 0.26. If we take a quick look at the chart, we will see that 0.26 puts us about here on the graph when calculating the odds. If the difference in these two teams was so large as to be greater than a mu gap of 5, it would put us on a part of the graph that is statistically not sound, and so we will not use these odds. If we take a quick look at the Trends tab, we will see that, that when we calculated our trend, trend incorporated 90% of the data, this gave us mu gaps of 5 and below are rateable. If this mu gap is larger than 5, we will be warned here that these odds are not valid. In this case, you should not use these odds and basically go on to the next match. To calculate our market edge, we use the market odds grid. This is laid out in a style similar to most betting exchanges. We have home team, away team and draw and then we have the home team edge, the away team edge and the draw edge. It is split into two sides, the back side and the lay side. 
This column representing the primary back odds, secondary back odds and tertiary back odds and likewise primary lay odds, secondary lay odds, tertiary lay odds. We can now see if the market is giving us an edge or not by entering the odds into our grid. So for example, if we were offered the price by a bookmaker of 2.93 for Stoke, we calculate edge and we are told we have an edge of 0%. This is to be expected because our software predicted 2.93. If the market or a bookmaker is given as a worse price, for example 2.90, we can calculate the edge and we are told we have a minus 1% edge on the market. If the market was given as a better price, for example 2.96, calculate the edge and we are told we have a 1% edge on the market. An easier way to input the prices for edge calculation is to import them from your favourite exchange. At the moment we have two exchanges available. If you select this, this impending match from the exchange you will see how we can import the prices very quickly by using the Get Exchange Prices button. So for the Stoke Tottenham match, I find the match under English Soccer, Premier Fixtures, Stoke Tottenham. It is important that the odds are imported from the match odds page. Also make sure that the full market depth is displayed by selecting these two checkboxes. With the full market depth displayed, the full market prices, primary, secondary and tertiary, can be pulled into the exchange grid. Also ensure that you are not logged in when this is happening. If you wish to place a bet, place the bet on a separate web browser and log in as you normally would. Do not use the software to log into your account. So once we have the market prices displayed, we simply click Get Exchange Prices and the prices are pulled in immediately. We then select Calculate Edge and immediately the edge is calculated for us. One more thing you'll notice that we have the commission text box. If we apply our commission to these prices we will see how this affects our market edge. The more commission you pa pay the less of a market edge you're going to have. So for example with Betfair if you have a 5% commission rate pull the prices in select calculate edge and you'll notice that now our edge has dropped because we are paying more commission. We can do the same using the other exchange. In this case Stoke and Tottenham again. So to find this match, I select Soccer, English, Premier, Match Odds, find Stoke versus Tottenham, make sure it's the Match Odd market that we import, click get exchange prices, the prices are automatically pulled in, calculate the edge and our edge is calculated. Remembering that if required you can reset your commission rate to the exchange you're using, pull in the prices, recalculate the edge and now we have a new set of figures. And that's all there is to it. If you have any questions, please go to the lifeform.com website. 
and you will find contact information at the bottom of every page. Thank you for listening to Lifeform TV.